All right, what's going on, everybody? It's finally here. I'm finally doing fish head soup. And that's like the biggest rainbow runner I've ever seen in my whole life. So I guess the first thing we're gonna have to do is just scale them. Get a fork that you can hang on to real well. A lot of times these fish will have scales up around their head and gills. And we're just gonna scale away here. And if you can see, I'm not starting, I'm not gonna fly up near the head. I'm gonna start back here so it leaves some meat on that head. There we go. This is one of the most underrated fish out there. Absolutely fantastic to eat. Wait till you see the meat. Good deal. Just cut right along the skin. Has a very pronounced bloodline in it, just like that. So you start on the back and cut right down. Ooh, yeah. So now what we'll do, we'll repeat the same process on the other filet, but I'm gonna give this to my mom and dad for dinner tonight. All right, so moving right along. Now we have our fish filleted, but we left plenty of good meat up here in the head. Let's start knocking this thing out. As you can tell, that is not nearly the right knife. That's just one of my crown gut oaks. That's a skinny knife, but it's the biggest blade I've got right now without going out to the ranch and getting my carver, which is the, which is the actual correct knife that I need. All right, you guys. And just like that, there's the carcass and the head, all chopped up, ready to be made into soup. I gotta be honest, this is my first time ever doing this. So if you see me doing something wrong, or if you think I look like a clown, just let me know. But I am trying, and I think it'll be good. So, we got a large stock pot, and we're, and, and you might be able to hear Aria crying in the background because she's fussing a little bit. She just has been really sick, and uh, not feeling well, so just try to fight through it. Alrighty. Let's salt this. We'll also add some original Everglades heaven in a bottle. Good. Alrighty. Uh, you know what? I'll also take some fresh ginger. Just shred it right in there. Ginger is so nice. It smells so good. Then take some lemon and I'll just cut big pieces of zest. Put it in there just like that. Put some lemon juice in there. This already smells good. It's not even boiling yet. Lime juice. Now we'll take a whole onion. Cut it into eighths. Take some garlic. I guarantee you, this is gonna have a lot of flavor. Then, we'll take two sprigs, 
two sprigs of rosemary. I believe letting all your ingredients come to life and really fall in love in that pot, that's the key. Then, once that's happened, you add your fish and it just becomes like love potion number nine. Fish. Start dropping it in there. Pieces of backbone and head and all that nice fish. Now we'll put our lid back on. Let that come to boil. While that comes to boil, I'm gonna start cutting up my other ingredients. So I've got mushrooms, baby potatoes, corn, sweet Vidalia onion, yellow, and red peppers. All right, so this has been simmering now for about an hour. You could let it simmer for a lot longer if you wanted to. Heck, you could let it simmer all day. But for me, an hour is long enough. Okay. We'll just let all that love and goodness All right, so that's all the love and goodness. This is our stock. That's that lovely. Now you can take that stock and literally freeze it. So anytime you wanted to make like any kind of dish, you could just use that stock. Like, could you imagine making rice with seafood stock? throw some clams in it, or maybe you could boil down some pasta using that stock. Whammy, thank you. All right, so next up, let that come back. It's gonna start boiling, and we're gonna start adding corn, yellow peppers, sliced white mushrooms, sweet Vidalia onion, Dutch baby, potatoes, red peppers, good. Now, while that comes back to a boil, I'm gonna pick through and pick off some nice chunks of meat that came out of the stock. We'll add that back to it in this process. Oh man, how nice is that? Look at all that meat, look at that. Just take a fork and dig right in. Well, y'all, it's just past 1 a.m. And although I feel crazy for cooking soup in the middle of the night like this, it does smell amazing. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful food. Thank you for all my many blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. Look at this, y'all. Gotta let it cool. Bow! That's a meal. That's not just a bowl of soup. I'm not even kidding to you. I am pretty hungry, <laughs> even though it's 1 a.m but I would say that's the best soup I've ever had in my whole life. It's a brothy soup, it's not like a chowder. It's, it's brothy. Mm. The flavor of the peppers, amazing. If you're having friends over for a big dinner and you guys were out and caught a bunch of nice fish, something like this would knock their socks off. So, for all of you that have been encouraging me to make a soup like this out of the backbone and head, thank you. I'm glad you did. This is the first time I personally have ever made it, and I'm in love. I should just call this video Love Potion Number Nine.
because it don't get any better than that. To all the fathers out there, uh, it's actually Father's Day now. Um, keep giving it your best, doing the best you can as being a dad. Um, I know kids don't come with manuals, and all you can do is your best. It's not an easy job, but it's dang sure worth it. I love all of you, and I appreciate all your hard, or all your hard, or all your encouraging comments, and all your thumbs up, and and all your wonderful thoughts. It's tired, and my words aren't coming out quite right, but I hope you know what I mean. I love y'all. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. We go.